Hello guys, I have this uh, Staples hiking chair which I purchased two years back and uh, it was working fine and it's, um, uh, it's a mesh chair, uh, pretty good chair. Uh, unfortunately, uh, from last uh, few weeks, I started uh, observing that it, it started sinking when uh, you sit on it. So I reached out to the Staples uh, product, uh, customer support and uh, uh, since this particular chair has a uh, seven years uh, warranty, and they uh, send me this cylinder so this particular video is to replace the existing cylinder with the new cylinder and uh, it is not only applicable for the mesh chair or for staples chair but in general for any uh, chair which has a cylinder uh, in it so uh, what exactly you need uh, uh, you need the new cylinder uh, i'm going to put the amazon link uh, in the description below uh, just in case if you have to buy that one in my case um, uh, it has been sent by staples uh, free of cost and and then you need the hammer uh, just to remove the um, uh, or use the brute force to remove the existing uh, uh, cylinder installed uh, during the installation process so first thing uh, first step in this uh, uh, this process is basically lay down the chair uh, on the ground uh, uh, sideways now once this um, chair is uh, placed like this um, I will show you um, what exactly you have to do so on each um, on this cylinder you will find the you will find the telescopic cover something like this so this cover is to hide the cylinder actual cylinder so what you have to do is you have to just um, uh, push this cylinder like this so that you will have the uh, clear picture of the cylinder which you are going to remove from this uh, legs right or legs as uh, leg assembly so let me push this little bit so that it will be clear so as you see over here this is the cylinder cover so you push this away from the cylinder body and expose this cylinder body and uh, what we have to do is we have to now uh, hammer this part in this direction okay and at the same time you have to hold this leg and pull towards you on this side so basically hammering uh, the cylinder body or cylinder from the bottom on this side and pulling this at the same time pulling this leg towards you so that this will get free uh, the cylinder body will get free from this uh, leg, uh, leg rest right let me show you and uh, uh, before doing that one let me show you why it started go uh, getting sink so if you see over here clearly if i zoom in you will see some kind of a leak over here so this leak is responsible for this chair not uh, working properly and sinking um, uh, when someone sits on it so let's remove this uh, old cylinder the way hammer it like this like this and you have to do it very forcefully and at the same time you have to pull this towards you let's do it and see that whether you are able to um, now we can remove this uh, very easily if not then probably we have to use the wrench to remove this one but i think i will be able to uh, do this one very easily and as you see it's loose and it came out very nicely so this is the old cylinder good so the first step is done that uh, we have disengaged the legs from the cylinder body now once this is done remove this uh, uh, now pull this um, uh, cylinder cover down so that it is not going to uh, damage uh, when we are going to remove this entire cylinder from the chair now now in this in the second step we have to remove this entire cylinder shaft or whatever you have to call it from the 
uh, chair body that means this will this entire thing will come out like this uh, you wiggle it if it comes out it's easy uh, easily if it comes out it's okay but i know that it is not going to come out the way we have done it in the uh, first step that we are pulling the chair base towards you and then uh, hitting the hammer over here in similar fashion now we are going to hit the hammer over here just over here right so if i show you in close up not here or here just on the edge and pull this entire cylinder towards you so that it will come out from the uh, chair assembly so let me do that and hopefully this will also come out very easily and i'm holding this over here and i'm going to just push this hit over here and it is not it is not coming out uh, easily let me try one more time if not then we'll remove this entire assembly and um, uh, remove the cylinder by hammering from the top let me try doing this one more time and it is tight so i'm not able to uh, remove this easily so now the next step is next option is basically remove this entire chair assembly by removing these four screws 1 2 3 and 4 so this entire thing will come out from the chair body so i'll use the allen screw uh, to remove this four screws so i don't know which one is the uh, which one fits here okay most probably this one and just remove each one of them like this so that the body will the chair body will come out so let me do this one and show you that how it looks so three screws are out and the last one also on the verge of getting out so once i remove all these four screws we are going to separate the seat and the assembly the screw is out and this is the seat which was part attached to the assembly now so i remove this one but unfortunately there is no way for me to push that uh, cylinder from the top because this is kind of this is kind of covered as you see over here so i have no choice but to uh, remove this from here only by hitting over here and take out uh, this thing if that doesn't work then the only way for us is getting the wrench and just give give some kind of a leverage uh, to uh, remove this uh, uh, cylinder so that also i will show you let me get the uh, wrench and using the wrench we will uh, try to remove this one now i'm going to use the pipe wrench this one to rotate this and get some kind of a wiggle in it so that we can remove this cylinder so as you and and i was able to do it and it came out very uh, nicely so yeah there are few steps um, either you do that way or this way you know, whatever way works for you but in my case um, using the hammer i was not able to remove it but uh, using the uh, pipe wrench i was able to uh, wiggle it and it came out uh, very quickly so now uh, uh, let's uh, 
install uh, the uh, seat which I removed from the assembly and then we are ready to install the uh, new cylinder now the chair is attached uh, seat is attached to the uh, chair body and uh, now we are now we are ready to install the new uh, telescopic cylinder uh, this one is the new cylinder so the process is very simple um, this one was the original one and it was installed um, uh, like this it was installed like this on the uh, existing chair base so let me show you so something like this it was like this on the existing chair base so uh, we have to do the same thing so take the new cylinder and place it on the uh, chair base now don't forget the these covers basically and these covers will go so we removed like this right so they will go in the same sequence so the smaller one in at the bottom then this and prior to that one this one so like this so when the cylinder will lift it will cover the um, entire cylinder this uh, this telescopic cover will cover the entire telescope so now what we have to do is we have to lift this entire chair assembly and place it over here and that's it we are kind of done so let me do that so i'm going to just match the holes of this uh, chair and as you see over here this is the hole we have to match on the cylinder Once you sit on this one, it is ready. Now it can go up, it can go down. And we are done with the installation of the new cylinder.